Today I'm going to show you five simple tips on how you can 10 times the quality of your videos without spending a dime. By following these steps, you're going to take your videos from good to great in no time. Let's do this. Learn to work with natural light sources such as sunlight. Different times of the day offer varying qualities of light. The worst time of filming is around noon, midday-ish, when the sun is at its highest and can create harsh shadows. The golden hour, just after sunrise or just before sunset, provides a soft, warm light that can add a cinematic quality to your videos. Experiment with the positioning of your subject or yourself in relation to the light source. Frontal lighting can reduce shadows, while side or back lighting can create depth and dimension. Be mindful of the direction and intensity of the light for the desired effect that you are looking for. Now, if you're shooting indoors, take advantage of available lighting sources. Position your subject, or again, yourself, near, for example, windows to capture natural lights. And consider using household lamps strategically to add warmth, depth, and a more cinematic look to your shots. Experiment with backlighting, where the light source is positioned behind your subject. This technique can create a halo effect, separating your subject or yourself from the background and adding a visually appealing element to your videos. Follow the rule of thirds. Divide your frame, like I'm doing now, into a grid of um, equally nine parts, because this technique adds a balance and uh, a visual interest to your composition and is used all the time in both big budget movies and even good YouTube channels like this one. While the rule of thirds is a great guideline, don't be afraid to break the rules. You can also use natural or created lines within your frame to guide the viewer's eyes towards the main subject. For example, here I have these shelves in the background and this uh, gobo light and they're both guiding the view of the viewer, you, towards me. So use guiding lines as well. Now it doesn't need to be, for example, in a studio where I am now. It can be roads, fences, or any prominent visual elements that draw the attention to the focal point of your video. Understand your camera's manual mode. Do not film in auto mode. This allows you to have full control over the settings such as aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. The general rule is to set the shutter speed to double your frame rate for a natural motion below. You can also control the depth of field by adjusting the aperture which is also called the f-stop. A lower f-stop creates a shallow depth of field, isolating your subject from the background, and it creates a nice bokeh, which are those kind of big glowing out-of-focus lights that you have seen in many movies and YouTube videos. Adjust the ISO, the ISO, to control the camera's sensitivity to the light. Find out what your camera's base ISO is and try shooting with that at all time. Lower the ISO when you're shooting in bright lights and increase the ISO only when shooting in low light situations. But be mindful of the potential noise because if you turn up the ISO your image is going to become very noisy and grainy so try to stick to having a low ISO. Set the white balance according to the lighting conditions. Never put white balance on automatic. This ensures an accurate color reproduction in your videos. Use presets like daylight, cloudy, or tungsten, or manually adjust the temperature for a custom white balance. If you put it on automatic, and you, if you have, for example, like orange, teal, blue over there, your camera is going to go insane. So custom white balance. Before we continue, let me tell you where I got the music, sound effects and stock footage from, and that is Artlist. Artlist is by far the best place that you need to go to if you need music, sound effects, stock footage, templates, whatever to enhance your videos. I have been using them for years and I have never looked 
back. They have different kind of plans. So if you are uh, creating content only for your own channel, they have more affordable plans. And if you have clients, they even cover you there. And what you don't have to think about when using Artlist is to have a copyright claim. You are covered. Do not worry. I do recommend checking out the link below. And if you sign up for an annual subscription, you're going to get two months for free. Thanks to our friends at Artlist. What happened to my time? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Now, this saying is so fitting when making a video. Before filming, develop a script or at least bullet points that you need to talk about and try not to get too much of a script as this can decrease the viewer's attention and focus. Edit your videos very tightly, trim unnecessary footage to keep your video concise and engaging, incorporate B-roll and cutaway shots to add a visual interest and context. B-roll is helpful in covering, for example, mistakes and edits, but will also emphasize your point, making your videos more dynamic and engaging. Define the mood and look you want to have in your video. Whether it's a warm, nostalgic feel or a cool, futuristic vibe, having a clear vision guides your color grading decisions. Ensure that your footage has balanced exposure, corrects any overexposure or underexposure. And when your footage is more or less neutral, you can start playing around with the color wheels and curves. You can also apply a free lot, a look up table, which is kind of like a, a filter to achieve a specific look or style quickly. But be also aware where they come from as a low quality lot might actually ruin your scene. I have developed a lot which is compatible with all cameras and I have even tested it with my iPhone. Today we're talking about how you can improve your videos without spending a dime, but if you want to spend a little bit, if you write the code PH24, I'm gonna give you a 25% discount if you download that lot, uh, just because you guys are awesome. The link in description below. If you want to make your videos even better, you need to check out this video right here because it is the best place to get all of your assets from music sound effects, including the stock footage that I have been using. So you can use, for example, um, the footage for your B-roll. Check out the video right here. Peace.